Hello guys, this is part 12 of the making a game with Unity tutorial in which we will add the time the player has to survive as a timer counting down. First we are going to extend the UI interface by adding two images for the time and for the player's health. The health is represented by this heart icon and the time by the clock icon. After adding and arranging the heart icon to the text, I will duplicate both game objects and move them upwards. Then I rename these to text and image time and add the clock icon to the image. Now I adjust the location a little bit and then I start the game. And this is how our new interface looks like. The player takes damage if he is hit, but we have to count down the time we have to survive to win the game. This time could be 30 seconds, but we have to implement this in our script. So I open here Wishes Studio and the HUD script. And for this one I'm going to add a new text UI component. This will be the time we have to survive. Then I extend the game controller and add a new time variable. And here we need a public getter property that returns the available time. Alright, and now let's switch to the HUD class and the update method in which we will assign the available time to the time text component. In order to refer to the text component in the HUD script, we have to assign it in the editor to the public member variable. Then I set the text of the text components to some placeholders just to see if they are replaced with the values of the game manager when I start the game. Okay, and now comes the counting down logic. I open the game controller class and add a public member variable of type bool and call it m game over. In the start method, I use the invoke repeating method to call a count method every second. In this method, I will decrement the available time by one. But first I check if the available time already reached a value of 0 and if this is the case I set mGameOver to true and cancel the invoke of the count method. And also the logic of set damage is only executed if the game isn't over yet. If the player's health is 0 we also have to set GameOver to true and we need a public getter that we can use to request if the game is over. Oh, and I forgot to cancel the invoke of the timer when the player's health is zero. Alright, we also have to make sure that the enemies won't appear anymore when the game is over and this logic I add to the enemy controller script here in the update method. Just return if the game is over and now let's start the game and see if this works. Okay, now the time is counting down correctly. Now I will speed this up to see what will happen when the time is up. Great, the enemies don't appear anymore and the game is over. Okay, now let me increase the damage value in the script so that the health value of the player will come down to zero faster. And now the player is dead and the game is finished as well. What is still missing is the end screen to display whether you lost or won the game. I will add this in the next part. So guys, if you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.